Back when I made my video a few months ago talking about the six horror movies that I was going to give a second chance rewatch to, the one that I was the most nervous to include on that list is Hostel from 2005 and it is also the most popular movie that I included on that list and I find that when movies have a lot of hype there also comes a lot of expectation that you should like that movie and that is not just directed at Hostel, that is movies in general here like the more hype a movie has the more it's like oh you should like this movie you're really gonna like this movie and back when I first watched Hostel easily 15 years ago now I did not like this movie at all and it is also probably the one on the list that I think is least likely to change my opinion just based on what this movie is about and my own personal tastes. However, the reason it is getting a second chance rewatch is because back when I first watched this, I was a massive fan of the Saw franchise and I am still a diehard fan of the Saw franchise. So I was looking for more movies that were in a similar kind of vein slash style to the Saw movies and Hostel was a name that got thrown around a lot. So when I watched Hostel and it wasn't like the Saw movies, I was left disappointed. But if we're being honest, while they both fall into that same kind of subgenre of like torture porn, they really are their own separate entities entirely and they don't have much in common. This time around, I am watching Hostel, letting it be its own franchise entirely and not with the expectations of finding something that is kind of like the Saw franchise. So it's time to let Hostel have its moment and be its own thing. But if you don't know anything about Hostel from 2005, and if you don't, where have you been all of these years? Let me quickly fill you in. Three travellers backpacking across Europe meet a man who convinces them to visit a hostel with beautiful women. However, these fantasies quickly turn into nightmares when they end up separated and their reality becomes a hell from which they may never escape. If you're new here, I go by Hordes and I talk about all things horror here on my channel on Mondays and Fridays. But as always, when it comes to watching movies, I am now gonna go and watch Hostel from 2005 off camera. So that way, if you too wanna watch this movie, nothing will be spoiled for you because nobody wants to watch a movie. You've just watched somebody else watch from start to finish. And if it is not obvious, I am so anxious today about re-watching this one because the hype is real and the expectation is there. And I know that I'm not gonna meet it, I know. <laughs> what is that? It's anxiety. I think if you're someone that enjoys the whole going out, getting wasted, the lads lads mentality can relate to the trio of Ollie, Josh and Paxton, then this movie will probably be more entertaining for you because I worked in nightlife for a few years and nothing kills your urge to be in a club quicker than working in nightclubs and being around people like Paxton. I'm going home. Because of this, the first half of this movie just isn't for me and I wasn't interested in the slightest until Ollie disappears and the hints of the darker side of this plot start to come into it. I just wasn't here for it and it feels more like a like a softcore movie in all honesty. Like the trio <laughs> They're fine, I guess, but you don't really know that much about them. The person you know the most about is Ollie, who disappears first. Like, you know that he's the guy from Iceland. At one point, he speaks Russian and he's got a child. Then you've got Josh, who's the quiet friend. And then you've got Paxton, who's the outgoing friend, who I do have an issue with, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. So there wasn't really enough there for me to actually care about any of them when stuff actually starts happening. The only thing that they really have in common besides like the lad lad mentality is this lad lad road trip and it's not something that is ever going to appeal to me personally. The second half of the movie is definitely the stronger part of the movie but it does have one of my pet peeves when it comes to horror and that is where it starts to show you something happening, it then cuts away while it happens and then it cuts back and you see 
the aftermath. I remember thinking this the first time I watched Hostel, that going from the trailer, that it was going to be a lot more gory and a lot more violent than I actually ended up thinking it was. And that's not to say that it's not a violent or gory movie, because it certainly is, because to give an example, the eyeball scene, if you've, if you've seen that for certain, and the feral children scene. Um, but it's not as bad as I think that this movie is hyped up to be. Like, you're told that this is like extreme gore and extreme violence, and it's not if you've seen extreme gore and extreme violence. And one being not so extreme and ten being extremely extreme. I have heard though that the unrated version does have three additional scenes that I haven't personally seen that are more gory and more violent that were actually cut from the theatrical version, which is the one that I have on DVD. And I know that this version I watched has a different ending to the unrated version, so I have looked it up and I know what the different ending is, and I do think that the alternative ending is a better ending. Um, I will be the first to say, I like boobs as much as the next queer lady. However, if you're going for an 18 rated movie and it's a horror movie and your option is give me nudes or give me gore, give me gore all, all the way through. Like I think had they taken some of the soft core out of the beginning and then put the additional graphic scenes in in its replace to keep that 18 rated, I would have liked this movie more. Like, give me some boobs, but I don't need a softcore movie for the first half. I've said this a few times here on my channel now, and that is, if your movie uses homophobic slurs, regardless of when it was made, it doesn't make it any less jarring when you hear it now. And it is not something that I am ever gonna be comfortable with. Slurs in general, I am never gonna be comfortable with. Now, Hostel being made in 2005, it's got that sort of sense of humour where if you've got a guy and they are not rabid for women, instantly they're making gay jokes about this character and it's not in a like questioning way, it is done as an insult. And it's why I have such an issue with the character of Paxton and why I was so cold for him, didn't care what happened to him, because he uses the certain F slur at least five or six times just in the first half of this movie and I can't get behind him being a surviving character in this. Like, if you use slurs regardless of the connotation in a movie, I don't want you being the final survivor. The sentence is dead. Now I don't want to come across like I am completely hating on this movie because I don't think that Hostel is a bad movie. I think that this is a movie designed for people with specific tastes. The first half of the movie is for people with one taste. The second half of the movie is for people with a different taste. And if you happen to like both of these two things, you will really enjoy the entire movie. But for me personally, I only have the tastes for the second half of this movie. And that is the part that I actually enjoyed. I think it's well acted. I think it's well shot. I also really enjoyed the score. And I think that now I have watched it without comparing it to Saw, I actually enjoyed this movie more than I did the first time round, now watching it for a second time and letting Hostel be Hostel. In the end, I am gonna give Hostel from 2005 a 2.5 out of five because I equally liked and disliked things about this movie. And I have to point out that in my comments section, for this movie in particular, it is very similar to when I watched Wrong Turn. And that is people are saying that the sequel to Hostel is actually better than this one. So at some point I may be possibly tempted to watch the sequel because I want to know if, because I like the concept in the second half of the movie, if you give me different characters that I could possibly relate to on a different level, would I enjoy this movie more? So if you want to see me watch the sequel, please let me know in the comments down below because the big thing for me that stops me enjoying this movie so much is I just can't relate to any of the main trio in this and the first half of the movie just it's not for me. So there you have it my initial thoughts and my review for my second time watching Hostel from 2005. If you've also seen this movie I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are down in the comment section down below. 
do you like this movie? Do you dislike this movie? Do you feel a similar kind of way that I feel about Hostel? If you would like to know every single horror movie that I watch, not just the ones I talk about here on YouTube, you can also find me over on Instagram and Letterboxd at Hordes of Horror. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe stick around and subscribe and become a member of the Horde. And I will be back on Monday with another recommendations list. I have been working on this one for a while. So if you're looking for some niche movies that have got very specific target audiences that you will either love or hate, I will see you next time. So until next time, bye.